Hello, this is Todd. I'm Todd Burgess with In Second Life. And so uh, what I'll be doing this morning is, uh, you know, we're just showing what I do when I prepare uh, the houses, uh, the textures on them, that is. Um, in this case here, you see, I, I want to make them as matching and realistic as possible. So uh, what I'll be doing here is uh, just to select Edit, select face, and then we're going to uh, make sure that the texture is the right size. So you see the texture, I would like it to be square because it was meant, it was designed that way in the first place. It doesn't have to be always perfect, but you want them to match up, you see? So in this case, you see if you take a look carefully, this looks more like a real stone wall than this one up here. And the one above it, my mouse doesn't line up. I got to work on that. I don't know why it doesn't do that. Anyways, if you got any uh, ideas on why my mouse doesn't line up, uh, please tell me. Okay, so, so I'm just uh, adjusting the textures. I have a good idea of how I want it now. Okay. I want it to be square, yeah, something like that. Here we go. No. Yeah. I look good. Hmm. That looks too small. Wait a second. Let's go closer. Let's see if it looks like a rock that you know, a bricklayer would be able to put up on that. Looks good. I'll leave it that way. At least. It's not today that I'm boxing them anyway. So. Okay, so how does this wall look like? Yeah, I think. Okay. Edit. Select face. Uh, it's a little too. Uh, wide see I base myself on the circle hard when there's a window though I look on the, at the circle and if it's nice and round you see this is good here okay then I look at the overall effect yeah that's good it's trompe l'oeil. It's meant to, you know, it's not meant to be perfect. It's made to give the impression of. It's like when you read stuff and there's a spelling mistake, but, you know, because your brain is used to seeing a certain pattern, they're not going to see or pick up on the spelling mistake, or it's not going to slow you down in understanding the phrase. You see, so trompe l'oeil has that same effect. Now, I think this one here is rotated. So I would like to rotate this 90 degrees, you see? And I think that one's rotated also. Yeah, it was. Oh, they're all rotated. Okay, so let's get that fixed. So it takes a while, you just have to do it right. If you like, if you know what you want, you care for the product that you're putting out, even though my product is not revolutionary, it's just you know, but I know people somewhere, they like that style, you know, and some people don't think about making it that way. So you're just, you know, 
I know that it uh, it uh, supplies a demand in Second Life because look, I sold a house yesterday, a piece of land, bought it, five hundred lindens, put the house on it, took a few minutes to put the doors on it, and 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 it stayed there for just a few weeks, and boom, somebody bought it. I made a thousand five hundred lindens in profit. Now, okay. When I work in real life, I make more money than that in hours. So you don't do it for the money. It's it's a game. But you know what? I'd much prefer a game where I make money than a game where I don't. You know. So all the games that motivate me in life are the ones where there's real money involved. Unfortunately, now I'm not talking about gambling necessarily, but I'll give you an example. I play Second Life. You know, where where I do pay a premium every month uh, to to rent the land in a way. But, you know, I can build myself an empire if I'm smart enough. Now, my problem is I'm not smart enough. <laughs> but I, I'd love to. I aspire to, you know. So I'll work every day, you know, now that I'm back. Because since the pandemic started, I think that Second Life is a perfect way to, first of all, meet other people, find people with similar interests, converse with people, have the feeling that you're socializing. And now with voice, it's much easier to be able to communicate within Second Life, you know, so, yeah, I think there's a future for this thing, and, you know, I always thought there was, you know, and uh, even back when I was making $400 a month profit because prims were, were king, <laughs> and now prims are not king anymore, so I got a lot to learn. You know, and the people who have, uh, who studied in, in, in 3D animation and who know about that stuff, they have the edge, you know, and they should be, you know, uh, well, I, I imagine they're the ones that are taking over uh, Second Life when it comes to uh, avatar sales and, you know, uh, objects made of mesh. So I imagine I could join the club. I just have to, you know, there's a learning curve. It's not easy from what I understand. It's not easy from what I've tried to learn so far, you know, so, but, you know, I can pull it off. I, I know how to count. I know how to read. It's just, you know, you got to wrap your hand around the concept of the, of the mesh, you know. Now, like, everybody's like pro mesh, this, is, this eliteness about meshing in the game. And I get it. I get it. I know, like, a, it helps Second Life you know, make more money for less energy, yeah. But it, it is really a, con like, the idea is that they want to be able to do what they want to do with with the least effort possible. And I, I get it, that everybody's like that, you know. But uh, at the same time, prims are what built Second Life. I mean, just like geometric squares or, or cubes are what make up um, uh, Minecraft, well, prims are what make up Second Life, you know. So I think that a good marriage between meshing and prims is a good thing. I also like the fact that, like, when you step away from meshes, God, it looks messy. And there's something prims, they look more organized or nicer from farther away. So there's a trade-off with mesh. Yes, you look close, you look good up close, but you don't look that great when you step away. So is meshing all that great? Or is it just like, you know, right now the government that are telling us, you know, social distancing and masks are the only solution, you know? When in reality, are they the only solution? You see, it's, it's, it's all a question of, you know, what has, what is the person who's uh, telling you this, what is the advantage that they have behind telling you that? And I can tell you right away that meshing is good for the operators of Second Life, not necessarily always great for every uh, avatar, you know. Now I get it, and you see, I incorporated mesh in these builds, you know, and I'm I'm for it. Second that I incorporated mesh in this build, the build went from 93 prims up to 133. You see, because of Second Life's way of recalculating. Uh, yeah, you see, I see a gap up here that I'd like to fix. I'll have to work on that gap before I box this house. It bugs me. Okay, you see, I'm seeing stuff. That's what the inspection period's about. It's it's you just flying around it, finding stuff. Now I sort of like got away from what I was doing, but it gets boring for you. 
but uh, that's it. So I'll be texturizing for the next few days there. And when I'm ready to box it, I'm going to show you how I box. Okay, and, and what steps I do and what where I bring them afterwards in order for them to be able to sell. And, uh, yeah. Okay, so... Um, I'll wish you a good day. I don't, I don't know. I think it's turned into a rant there. But anyways, uh, you know, if you have any comments or any ways of thinking that you think I should be changing or any criticisms, I don't care. Want to troll me? Go ahead. Have fun. Okay? Take care. Have a great day.